Uh, my name is Alexander Hurdle Fernandez. Um, I'm 21 years old. I'm a senior, done with college now, uh, originally from West Lafayette, Indiana, not too far away. So Northwestern is home to you know, really strong um, volunteer and advocacy student groups all around campus, and uh, I got involved in kind of the more global health side of things initially. Um, I started up a group called the Global Health Alliance, whose aim was to kind of bring global health awareness to students and professors around campus. So we, we brought in movies, uh, The Constant Gardener, and we had uh, some people from the pharmaceutical companies that are uh, headquartered nearby come and kind of defend their, their point of the view. We also brought in people from the United Nations and other universities to lecture on you know, TB, malaria, uh, all sorts of the issues that we're facing right now um, as, uh, on, as global health. Um, so I ended up going to Chile in Santiago uh, for a year and um, while I was doing the study abroad I was also working in the offices of the World Health Organization um, in kind of a research assistantship position. So I ended up looking at uh, infant mortality um, around Chile. You know, Chile's had this amazing decline that's kind of been used as a case example all around the world. Um, but I wanted to look a little bit closer at that, you know, had it benefited all groups in society equally. And I ended up finding out that the poorest members of society in some of the poorest cities all around Chile were actually losing out on a lot of the health benefits that the country was giving. So I tried to bring that to light. I'll be looking at um, health policy in Buenos Aires, figuring out how to cover the, the very massive uninsured population there. Argentina's got one of the highest rates of informal labor, um, and about 50% of its population is unregistered with the government, and that means they don't get uh, health benefits. So, looking at how to, be looking at how to extend benefits for them.